In this video, I will continue with the same problem that we had. We had five years of data, uh, that, and those data um, values um, are, are x or t or time in this problem. Uh, our sales are the y values which are to be predicted. Uh, we had three year, uh, five years of data and our sales were 450, 495, 518, 563, 584. I will use um, trend projection uh, in this problem, which is essentially regression uh, analysis where uh, x, or the independent variable, happens to be time. That's essentially what, time, uh, what trend projection is. In these calculations, we are going to need um, the summation of a few numbers and also average values for x and y. Um, so I will sum up uh, um, x or time values, which happens to be 15. Uh, and I will also sum up the sales or the y values. I will also ca compute average x and average y values. Oops. Um, notice that of course these calculations you can do with your calculator, uh, but for, to save time I'm uh, doing it over here like this with using partial Excel and partial hand calculations. Notice uh, that the equation for slope, or b sub 1, is given here in this part, right here. And notice that the equation for intercept is given over here. Uh, so we need x times y column, uh, because this is uh, part of the formula. So x times y is what we're going to compute next. So uh, 1 times 450 or 2 times 495. And I can just continue on like that or I can copy that down. Notice I need the summation of that. So I'm going to sum that up. I also need uh, summation of x squared column. So I will uh, put this label or heading to be x squared. And in this column right here, I'm going to compute uh, each, take each of the x values and square them. So 1 squared is 1, or 2, or 2 squared. 2 squared is 2, or, or I'm sorry, is 4. So again, I can carry, carry that down. For example, this one is 5 squared is 25. And notice I need the summation of that column also. So I will sum that up. And also note that in my calculations, I'm going to need the summation of, um, the summation of x's, uh, but squared. So the summation of x's is 15. So I'm going to also need um, summation, uh, sum of x squared. Oops. Squared, which equals That's 15 squared, which equals 225. So I'm going to need that 
um, in my calculations. All right, so um, with this, we can go ahead and plug the information that we need into the equations uh, for slope. Oops. For slope, uh, summation of x times y is 8166, which we found here. Minus summation of x times y, x times, uh, summation minus the summation of x's times summation of y column. So um, uh, 15 times uh, 2610, 2610, divided by 5. That's the numerator. We divide by summation of um, the x squared column, which was um, Um, or the summation of x squared column, yeah, which was, where was my x squared, oh, 55, right here, uh, minus the summation of x's squared, uh, which was 225, divided by uh, 5, divided by n, which was 5. So that will give us, for the numerator, um, 8166 minus 7830 divided by uh, 55 minus 45, which gives us 336 over 10 which is 33.6. Um, okay, so all of that is our calculation for, all of this is our calculation for um, slope. Okay. And uh, now we want to use that uh, to compute intercept. So intercept, or b sub 0, is y, um, let me put this over here a little better, okay. So um, it's average y values, which we found average y to be 522, minus b sub 0, which we computed to be 33.6 just above, times x bar, or average x values, which is 3. So if you go through that, you get 421.2. Um, so that's how you compute the uh, uh, intercept and slope. Now uh, with Excel, you can also, there are a couple of ways that you can compute um, intercept and slope. Um, actually, there are three ways. I'll show each of them to you. Um, you can type equals intercept and use that function. It says what are the known y values. Our y values is that variable that is to be predicted, in this case sales. And then I separated with a comma and x values are here. And I get 421.2. And then slope, um, I can put equal slope, Oops. and again put the y values and the x values, and you get the 33.6. Another way is to draw a scatter diagram of the data. So you can go to the, um, uh, I guess I don't have the chart wizard here, but I can insert um, um, scatter plot um, and oops, I, should, I better select the data first. Um, here is my data. Uh, insert uh, scatter plot and if I click, right click on any of the dots and add trend line 
and choose the linear trend line, which is the default, and um, set, say, um, close. Um, actually, I need to um, uh, display equation on chart. Um, and I could also display the R squared value, which is the coefficient of determination, and then close. And so now I have um, the equation for the line as well. You can see uh, the 33.6 and the 421.2. A third way to do this is, um, let me make this smaller. Uh, a third way that you can do this is by um, using the regression function. Um, so you go to data, oops, and I don't have data analysis tool pack activated. So let's go to file menu, uh, go to options, add-ins, um, and I will go to add-ins and uh, I will say go and analysis tool packs. I will check them off and I will say OK. And now data analysis tool pack is here. So I click on it and I will go down to regression and OK. It says input the Y range. I know it's very important to pick the correct range for Y values and for X values. Um, so I'm going to um, highlight all of that range. Um, and then it says, what's the X range? I'll do the same. I did click uh, include uh, cells B and C1, which are the data labels. So I'm going to check this off and say that this range that I selected includes the labels. And I will choose an output range now. And for the output range, I will put my mouse here and, and select maybe this cell. Uh, and then I will say OK. And when I do that, um, you will see that uh, um, the intercept and um, the slope are indicated. So this is how you can create um, um, uh, the, the trend equation. Now the equation is, and let me go ahead and um, I'll insert some uh, columns here. And um, so let me erase a little bit of uh, these lines so they're not in your view. So if I go to home, uh, now I can create forecasts, trend forecasts. Um, using this equation. If you remember, the equation is equals uh, 421.2 times um, 33, oops, 33.6 times uh, whatever the time um, period is. So for the trend forecast for this first time period would uh, multiply the uh, tra uh, the the slope by time period one. So with that, that's my equation. Oops, that does not sound right. 421 plus 33. Yep, that would be right. 14,152. And uh, oops, no, sorry. This one right here should be plus, and I multiplied. Okay. All right, that's better. And uh, I will copy that down. And so now uh, for the next time period, uh, for time period six, um, this right here uh, would be forecast for year six and this for year six. And this would be trend forecast for year six. Um, now, um, I'm going to move this over. Um, 
because these are your forecasts of past periods, these right here are, your, are our past periods. So I'm going to uh, put scores around them. Um, because um, these are our forecasts, we can actually do error analysis. So error, or let me just do absolute error. Absolute error um, is, um, and remember error is always actual minus forecast. So in this case, it would be absolute value of actual value minus the forecast for time period one. Uh, oops. I should use a parentheses. Um, and I can con uh, copy that down. And so um, in this period right here, period five or year five, 584 minus 589.2 is 5.2 absolute value. And so from here you can compute again MAD, MSE, MAPE, etc. Um, uh, a measure of um, uh, goodness of fit, if you recall from statistics, a measure of goodness of fit uh, for regression or for trend analysis is correlation coefficient and coefficient of determination. Uh, the coefficient of determination um, is reported here. It's the R squared value, uh, meaning that the relationship um, uh, is very strong between X and Y, um, and 98, almost 99 percent of variation or variability in Y values are explained by time, by X values. So that's R squared. You can see R squared also here. Uh, let me make this uh, okay so this is uh, r squared value 98.56 which is what you see over here um, and then correlation coefficient is 0.99 um, 0.99 in this case um, and uh, that you can also compute and that's a measure of the strength of the relationship between x and y if you recall from statistics it's an index it's unitless and uh, correlation coefficient can be anywhere from negative one to positive one with zero indicating uh, no linear relationship so uh, Pearson's correlation coefficient is a measure of um, association between a linear association between two variables. You can also compute the correlation coefficient, correlation coefficient, uh, by this function equals correl, c o r r e l, uh, of the um, of the array one comma array 2 and 0.9927 uh, is what you see over here which is the same. Now if you take um, square of that uh, coefficient of determination is uh, R squared. So this column right here this is R and this is called R squared. Um, and coefficient of determination is uh, equal to r squared, so this this number squared, which is your 0 0.9, 0 0.9856, which we found um, here and here. Okay, I think that should do it for uh, trend projection and regression, a simple regression analysis. And this is all a review from your statistics course. Thank you.